Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, let the equations of the two planes be a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equal to 0. Now let P, that is a point P whose coordinates are x, y, z, the any point on any one of the planes bisecting the angles between the planes which are given by equation number 1 and 2. Then the perpendicular from the point P, X, Y, Z to the two planes must be numerically equal. Therefore, the equations of the bisectors of the angles between the planes which are given by equation number 1 and 2 are a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 all upon square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square is equal to plus minus a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 all upon square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. A1 of the equation of the bisector is the bisector of the acute angle between the planes and other is the bisector of the obtuse angle between the planes. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Here the equations of the planes are given to us and we have to find the equations of the bisector planes of the angles between the given planes. So given the equations of the planes are 2x plus 2y plus z minus 4 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y plus 6z minus 7 is equal to 0. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now using the result which is given in the key idea If the point P whose coordinates are x, y, z be any point on the bisector planes, then the perpendicular from P, x, y, z to the two planes must be numerically equal. So we have the equations of the bisectors of the angles between the planes which are given by equation number 1 and 2. 
So the equations of the bisectors are a1x that is 2x plus b1y that is 2y plus c1z that is plus z plus d that is minus 4 4 upon square root of a1 square that is 2 square which is 4 plus b1 square that is 2 square which is 4 plus c1 square that is 1 square which is 1 is equal to plus minus a2x that is 3x plus b2y that is 2y plus c2z that is plus 6z plus d that is minus 7 whole upon square root of a2 square that is 3 square which is 9 plus b2 square that is 2 square which is 4 plus c2 square that is 6 square which is 36. Now this implies 2x plus 2y plus z minus 4 whole upon now this is equal to root 9 which is 3 is equal to plus minus 3x plus 2y plus 6 and minus 7 whole upon square root of 9 plus 4 plus 36 is equal to root 49 which is equal to 7 which are the equations of the two bisector planes. Now on taking positive sign in this equation, let it just be equation A, we get that is here we will consider only the positive sign. So this will become 2x plus 2y plus z minus 4 whole upon 3 is equal to plus 3x plus 2y plus 6z minus 7 whole upon 7. Now on cross multiplying this implies 14x plus 14y plus 7z minus 28 is equal to 9x plus 6y plus 18z minus 21 which further implies 14x minus 9x plus 14y minus 6y plus 7z minus 18z minus 28 plus 21 is equal to 0 which further implies 5x plus 8y minus 11z minus 7 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of one of the bisector planes. Now, taking negative sign, in A, we get 2x plus 2y plus z minus 4 whole upon 3 is equal to minus 3x plus 2y plus 6z minus 7 the whole whole upon 7. Now cross multiplying this implies 14x plus 14y plus 7z minus 28 is equal to minus 9x minus 6y minus 18z plus 21. Now this implies 14x plus 9x plus 14y plus 6y plus 7z plus 18z minus 28 minus 21 is equal to 0 which further implies 23x plus 20y plus 25z minus 49 is equal to 0. Hence, the equations of the bisector planes are 
5x plus 8y minus 11z minus 7 is equal to 0 and 23x plus 20y plus 25z minus 49 is equal to 0. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.